Hi, my name is Josh Evelsizer. Today we're going to cover Google's Help Me Visualize feature in Google Slides. And we're going to keep watching. If you are here to learn how to unlock that feature, Help Me Visualize in Google Slides, or you're just here to learn how to use the Help Me Visualize feature in Google Slides. I got two quick uh, redirects and clarifications. Uh, so the first one is that you must first unlock in Google Labs the Help Me Visualize feature or the Help Me Write feature or the Help Me Organize feature, they're all the same, must be unlocked first before this next stuff I'm gonna show you works. How to do that, video number 69 in the, in the comments section down below. Second, we are covering Help Me Visualize in this video. If you're looking for the Help Me Write, which is in Docs or Gmail, or the Help Me Organize, which is in Sheets, videos also linked down below. Finally, this is where we learn. Okay, help me visualize, Josh. How do I use this in Google Slides? There's three different ways that you can launch it. They're right here. I'm gonna show you those in the demo in a second. The second piece of that is how to use a prompt, uh, and then we'll talk about the different, the eight different style options that Google provides. Uh, then there's the view more, uh, and then you're done. So we're just gonna jump into the demo right away. Here's our prompt. I'm just gonna move myself right out of the way and show you how we launch Help Me Visualize. Again, there's three ways. So there's the button that's right here. Uh, you can see that glowing in its beautiful blue pearl shininess and the Help Me Visualize remark down below, first option. Uh, or you can go to the Insert option, Image, Help Me Visualize right there. That's the second way. And the third and final way is you can just write help me visualize and as soon as you get help typed out, it's probably gonna pop up and there it is. So we're gonna go ahead and launch it. You can see it over on the right hand side there. Uh, we've got our prompt and you see it's already entered here because I cheated and did it already. Um, but we, I'm gonna pretend like this wasn't in here. Uh, we'll paste it and then we'll hit the enter key or the create button to launch. And we're leaving the add a style blank for now. And you're gonna see what it creates is gonna look very similar to the stuff down below or very different. Um, every time it's like a, you know, it's like a roll of dice, it's, it's something new. Uh, usually takes about, it says it takes 20 seconds, doesn't always take that long, here we go. All right, so we got our rainbows, our Maldives, not a lot of waves though. Not a lot of waves in any of these, oh, there's some waves right there in that picture. Okay, so we can, we can tweak this, right? We've got options now, so add a style. Uh, we can work our way through here. Photography is the first one. Hit that create button. It's going to redo it in a style that has photography <laughs> baked in. Uh, I'm not going to try and uh, interpret how this stuff works, but of course show you how these examples work. Uh, once this pops up, there we go. Uh, yes, this looks like they've used a fisheye lens in one of these perhaps, uh, but you can see how the images have changed. Um, let's say we like this style right here. Then we can just click the view more button. And then of course it's gonna give us more options. Um, and we'll wait for this to generate before we move on to the next step. Again, it says it takes about 20 seconds, um, but it's, I don't think it's ever actually taken that long, which is nice. There we go. And you can just keep clicking view more and view more if it's, if it's, in, the, if it's in the style that you like. All right, so we're gonna come up here, we're gonna modify this and we're gonna make our prompt just a little bit more descriptive and let's see here we go um, in a particular style and this time I'm going to pick the watercolor option this is the last one I'm going to do in this video just because you can probably understand that each one of these is just going to give you a different style and you can work your way through those I will pause on the background though um, well we'll use this we'll use this one um, if you want a new background for your um, slides uh, for video teleconferencing, sounds old, <laughs> uh, video calls. Um, you can use this background option and the image it creates. So the normal images, when, you, when I click on one of these, if I like it and I wanna insert it, you'll see it's a square, right? Um, when we do the background option, you're gonna see that when this thing is completed, it's gonna fit the size of this slide right here, which is the right dimensions for the background. As you can see here, they're more um, landscape style and, or rectangle and less square. Um, so we can click on one of these and there's our new background. Um, I did want to do the watercolor <laughs> just because uh, in the style of this gentleman's name right here is a very famous one and I 
often get a very similar result, uh, which I thought was neat to highlight uh, the value of adding in the style of when you're when you're doing um, image creation. And this is just scratching the surface. I'm not going to go much further than this, but there you go. Um, oh, that background's permanent. So if I wanted to go back, that's new. Um, then I would just select the background and perhaps I would just go, there we go, done. These right here, very famous, um, but then of course with the rainbow in there, I don't know if it actually showed up in this one. There's one, uh, there's the rainbow. You can kind of modify, uh, you know, that very famous wave right here is, is very much, um, yeah, it's very famous. Uh, in any event, um, <laughs> this is how you use Help You Visualize. Uh, there's a number of options available here. The I'm Feeling Lucky, when you click on that, is just going to give you one of the above. Uh, so you're not going to get anything extra special there. Um, you may if it surprises you. That's, that's how it works. It's that simple. So let's jump back into the end here. Um, view more. I did cover that. So I've hit all the highlights. Uh, I did want to thank you for showing up uh, and mention that, of course, if this is helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. It does help the channel. And please remember, as always, uh, you can reach me in the comments section down below. Uh, a copy of this outline is available via download, along with other helpful linked goodness. Uh, please leave questions. I will leave answers. And now I'm challenging you to go and be productive.